Hello, students. Good evening, everybody. Hello. Say hello here today. Hello, hello. Are you there? Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? Welcome to our English class. And welcome also to be on time here. I know that, you know, responsibility, you know, to be on time is very important. So it's actually a great pleasure to have you here today. And um, always ready to practice and maximize your English skills. And welcome to all of you guys. I know that, you know, we are about to finish this course and um, also we have a great prospect about learning the language. Okay, so, well, before we start, it's very necessary to have a short backup related to the previous topic that we have been studying and also, and identify that we were like talking about some topics using the, the future going to when you have some plans for doing something like going out to go into the movies, you know, I'm going to, you know, to watch a movie with a friend because you have organized a time or also in the native form, like I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to study loads at university or I'm not going to travel to Mexico the next, next month. So I'm not going to, you know, to complete this course because of my schedule is not good. So you are like actually talking about some future plans. Also it could be affirmative and at the same time also it could be negative too. And also when we are talking about questions like, are we going to uh, finish this program? Are you going to travel to Mexico? As you said, is she going to uh, finish her project? Are they going to visit her their aunt? And is he going to buy the new laptop? And also there are different equations that we are like socializing, especially when we are using these structures. But let's start today with the class. And also we have a great topics to share today. And um, I don't know if you could, um, if you could uh, check, for example, you know the presentation um for this class also you can see that in the in the with subgroup so you can check there the presentation okay so we're talking today about different activities especially with messages and also we have the first you know as part of the practice activities right you remember that we we're using also a tell and please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Or would you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? And we, we listen to the statement and also we transmit the message with an statement. And when we request something, we use the same structures too. Um, and definitely that is, is something that we are talking about. Request, call me this afternoon. Messages with, with a request. Please ask him to call me this afternoon. Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? And would you ask him to call me this afternoon? This is one of the topics that we were developing and that at the same time was like very, very simple because the goal is that you can also use this like a, a, a common structure. And most of the time we use it in a real conversation. So let me present the topic for today's class in uh, just one second because it's a very, very interesting topic what we are sharing right now. And also we feel really, really encouraged to do a great job today. Let's see here. Um, can you see the presentation guys? Yes. Yes, right, okay. Yeah. So, okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Okay, look at this one. Okay, so we can see that. And especially when we request something, something that attract my attention is that we always have to use the word please because it's very formal. Oh, please ask him. Could you ask him to call me this afternoon, please? 
always try to use please because it's very formal, especially when you are you are you request something. You you need to ask permission and also use magic words like I'm sorry, could you that? Could you do that, please? Please, it's really important to me. It's very necessary to do that part. Okay, that was just like a short review. Okay, look at this part, and it's actually very interesting. Look at how it is. Uh, look at this, look at the messages slips and ask someone to pass on these messages. Use the words in parentheses. So, for example, we have the first one. And look at this one, jo Joel, Joel, the movie is at seven, uh, perhaps could be seven. And also you can see that. Could, uh, could you tell Joel the movie is at seven? So what I want you to do is to use this vocabulary and try to request or ask someone to do something. For example, if I say, uh, okay, Hector, you will uh, transfer the number two. Uh, in this case, uh, match, right? For example, oh, um, Joel, would you, would you pick me up at home around four? So in that case, you can use that. You can use uh, could, you can use please, would, and also like the examples that we saw before. Look at that. Let me move this presentation. I think I guess it's this one. Okay. Como vimos acá, ¿verdad? Usted va a utilizar la estructura. Please tell, or could you tell him, or, or could you do it? And also, please ask him, or please ask me. Ask him, could you ask him? And would you ask him? Entonces, lo vamos a hacer de esta manera. Para que usted pueda utilizar la estructura. Por ejemplo, tenemos Eva. The concert is on Saturday. On Saturday, it's canceled. Entonces usted puede decirle, oh, please, eh, could you tell Eva that the concert on Saturday is canceled? Entonces, pues, ahí usted hace la conversión. O, por ejemplo, yo le digo, ok, Gisela, usted le va a tocar eh, la número 6. Usted no va a transformar la, la oración. Ok, um, would you, uh, please, could could meet us in front of the cafeteria at 12.15? Or could you tell Jerry to meet us in front of the cafeteria at 12.15? Or the number 15, Anne. Could you tell Anne the museum opens at 10 tomorrow morning? Entonces, usted va a utilizar las, las frases eh, para poder eh, hacer la transformación. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer. Eh, no sé si está claro qué vamos a hacer en este ejercicio. Um, say yes or not. It's clear yeah. what you had to do. We we only use the good and cool. Depend on depend on the if if our if our request me or or not uh, or messages. Yes, if you can see here, they give us the words in parentheses. For example, in the number two, you will use would. In the number three, you will use please. In the number four, you will use would, five would, and six please. Like the examples we have here. Let me let me show you. For example, this one. Okay, please ask him to call. Could you ask him to call? Could you ask Maria? Would you ask Elena? Would you ask Anne? Please ask Daniel too. Could you ask eh, Pablo too? Entonces usted va a utilizar según el que nos, el que nos figura en paréntesis. Yes? Yes. Excellent. Yes, Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Okay, so we're gonna do it briefly, and I'll also I will share here the the presentation, and also the goal is that you can use these expressions, and also practice to sounds very natural in that way. So one moment, please, because I need to to share.
um, in the group. One second. No sé si. Well, I was I, I was about to send you this presentation, but it it didn't. It was not sent. Um, se les iba a compartir, pero no me la envió. Fíjense. Hoy sí, hoy sí. I will share you right now this one. Look at this one. Look at this one. So we're going to try it here. I will also share this information so you can have it right here in this class. And also look at this point. Okay, let's work in the groups right now to practice. Okay, so I'm, I'm creating the groups. So you can also accept the invitation to practice with your partner those expressions. So you will use the structures that we have been studying in this part. Hola. Hello. Hola, este, me acabo de conectar yo, perdón, soy David Aquino. Um, lo mandé a un grupo, no sé si le aparece ahí la, eh, la invitación. Sí, 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 estoy yo. Ah, ok. No, bueno, aquí me parece que estoy con Elena Gabriela y con Blanca Elena Merara. No, ellos no han entrado todavía tampoco. Mm, uh -huh. teacher, entonces no sé cómo haría la cosa aquí. Vaya, vamos a hacer, vamos a ver, quiero ver, lo voy a, voy a enviar a otro grupo. Eh, permítame, quiero ver. A la number four. Ok, uh, mira ahí la invitación.
Request. Un quiz. Request. Request. Buenas noches, compañerita. Uh, quiz, Buenas ¿qué noches. significaría? Es, es una petición. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Ah, vaya. Vaya, entonces tenemos que un, un statement es como un... Como un, ¿cómo se llama? E ese dice que es, es una como declaración. una afirmación. Una declaración. Una declaración. Y el rico es una petición. Entonces, en la declaración, nosotros vamos a usar un mensaje. Cuando queremos dar un mensaje, le vamos a decir a alguien, vamos a usar el PIS, el Q en Google, en ambos, pero lo que va a cambiar es que en, un, en una declaración vamos a usar el tell, como decir, por favor, dígale a tal persona que la reunión es el viernes. ¿verdad? Y vamos a usar el tell that. Entonces, es que el tell, según estoy entendiendo, es como que como decir diga o, o, o dime, Ajá. ¿verdad? Ajá, entonces le vamos a decir, dígale a alguien cuando es una declaración de Miri Ajá. y cuando es un cuando es un request, me dijo que era, disculpe. Pues petición. Una petición le vamos a decir de preguntarle a, a alguien, digamos, please ask me, ask him de call me, Tijazo, por favor, deal. Pregúntele que me, si me llama más tarde. Entonces, el ask es para las peticiones y el tell es para los, para como las afirmaciones. No sé si me entienden. Ok. Los otros, los otros compañeros, no sé si, si más o menos también entienden o, o pueden opinar. Tal vez yo también estoy equivocado. Sí, yo estoy de acuerdo. Ok. Entonces, Eva, de concierto on the Saturday in the cancel. Ajá. Ok. Igual la... que Jimmy and the world. También ahí. World you yeah. Would you Would tell, you tell him in... bring the ticket for the... Okay, okay. 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 We'll see. Yeah. Ay. Ya les entendí, mis niñas. Les mm. agradezco mucho que me han explicado. <laughs> Entonces... Bueno. Quiere hacer las cinco, eh, Claudia. Vamos a ver. Sería... Uh, would you would you tell me? Uh -huh. the the museum 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 es que se los amplié demasiado. No, pero está bien porque yo a chiquito no veo. Ni yo tampoco. Estoy algo chocolatina, yo también. Sí. Vamos a ver. La siguiente sería please, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí. Tell. Jen. Jenny met. Jerry o Jen. Met. Met. Así es. Met. Met us. Meet, meet, us, meet, meet the friend. Meet friend of the cafeteria. cafeteria. At. The cafeteria. At. Y sería aquí a las 12, eh, sería. 12, 15. From. 12, 15. Ok. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Sí, ya le entendimos esto hoy. A ver, 
Ya ve que tres cabezas piensan mejor que una. Ah, en el please es. ¿Ah? Please tell, tell Jennifer that, that the meeting, that meet, perdón, that meet us in front of the cafeteria. Pero no sé por qué, no, por ejemplo, ¿Mm? en algunos le, le agregan el that. Sí. Sí, no los puedo compartir no sé cómo se comparte pero como ella tiene que compartir sí, porque ya veo este <coughs> La mira. Se me perdió. Sí. Hello. Yo, yo sí lo miro. Okay. Sí, sí, mira. Este es el ejemplo que ella, él dio. ¿verdad? Ajá, ¿no? el primero. Y el, es el primero, please. Tell, ¿no? Ay, y, el primero es cool. Ajá. cool. ¿Podrías decirle, Joel? Could you tell Joel? The movie uh -huh. is at seven. Es Uh -huh. que sería, sería please start tal donde dice please start angle ¿no? ajá y el siguiente de mensaje ¿no? donde ah no hay siguiente respuesta de mensajes please ask donde donde hay un siete a qué va un siete ah, es que el siete no se mira ah no se hay un no. siete no, yo no sé, usted dijo que hay un 7. Quiero ver. No, solo 6 son. Ah. Sí, solo 6 son. No mandó otro más. Uh -huh. Incluso, esta es la imagen que le, le capturé cuando estaban viendo eso. Uh -huh. Entonces, este sería el último, el 6, ¿verdad? Sí, Bye. Lo va a escribir. ¿Hello? ¿Los está escribiendo? Sí, los está escribiendo. No, yo también los voy a escribir. Uh, no se me voy a olvidar. Que no se me olviden. Bueno. Four, 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 beans, beans. Pican red. Si quieres lo repetimos una vez, uno cada una. Y así, Bye. 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 Comience usted si quiere, Claudia. Ok. Solo, ya toda, solo la pregunta de abajo. Ya con el, con, con el cuadrito con... Y, y la respuesta. Uh -huh. Sería entonces, Joel de Movie is at the seven. El otro sería, Claude, you tell, you call, you tell Joel de Movie is at seven. Así. Uh -huh. Los números, no sé si estoy equivocada. Uh -huh. El siguiente es Mitch pick me up at home around four. Uh -huh. Sería would you tell Mitch the would you tell me pick me up at home around four? El siguiente es Esmeralda. 
Bueno, el siguiente. Eh, please you tell Eva the concert on Saturday is canceled. Siguiente, yo. Yo vi que alguien habló. Ah. Sí. <risa> Sí, la sugeriría Claudia. Sería Walt es verdad. Good. Good. Como con B. Good. 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 Good to tell a Jean reading tickers for the Hawkeye game. Tonight. Yeah. Okay. Hoy va. Ay, se me olvidó el nombre. Es Amy o qué? ¿Cuál es el? El cinco. Sería five. Es que Am o Amy o qué? Es música. Es creo yo. Open. Como que está cerrado, quizás. M. Abierto. No, estoy cerrado. No, estoy cerrado. M. The museum open at 10 tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. No. Ahora nuestra estima esmeralda. Eh, sería. Please, you tell Jenny, meet. Meet us in, ay, no, miro. Meet us in, for, in, in front of the cafeteria at 12 15. Sí, si quiere, practiquemos otra vez para que nos salga bien. Cabal. You. Soy yo, ¿va? <ríe> Sería no, si yo. Que otro para que... Ajá, vaya. Entonces, que, que empiece usted o, o empiece Esmeralda. Uh -huh. Voy a comenzar yo. ¿va? Ok. Joel, the movie is at seven. Could you tell Joel the movie is at seven? Ahora usted, Esmeralda. Eh, please. No, porque le tocaría el mismo Eva. Ah, no, ah, ah sí. No, ella, ella dijo el de no, Eva, el de va, concierto. Va, va a repetir los mismos. Esmeralda. Entonces le toca a... Usted, Esmeraldita, dijo el de Eva. Y Ajá. Y él dijo el de el dos. Entonces, Ajá. yo diría el dos y yo diría el tres. Otra Ay, vez digo el dos. Usted dijo el dos. sí. Ah, pues yo me equivoqué. <ríe> voy right. yo entonces, voy right. yo, voy yo. Sería book, eh, book you tell me pick me out at home around four. Okay. Así es, Pam. Sí. Book you. you. Ajá. Book, uh, eh, no, el take. tres es please. ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál voy a decir yo entonces? El tres. <ríe> ok, pues voy. Sería, please, please you tell Eva, the concert on Saturday in Cancer. It's Cancer. Uh -huh. It's Cancer. In Cancer. <ríe> well, um, would you tell Jean bring the ticket for the hockey game tonight? Yes. Ah, que me, me toca a mí. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Ay, sí que pensé que iba a ser. No, sí, ahí le toca. Jim, bring the ticket for the hockey game tonight. Ok. Ahora, Jim, bring the ticket for the hockey game tonight. Yes. Ahora, Ahora va Esmeralda. <laughs> Uh, and please tell you ah oh, oh. yeah se acabó
Okay, some students are joining here after the practice. And congratulations, because I could see that uh, the groups that I was listening, they could also find the answer about each uh, statement. And that's the, that's the goal, right? When you transmit a message, you request someone to do something. Please, could you tell my friend that to pick me up at around 4 p.m.? Yes, I could do that. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Oh, could you tell Joel the movie is at 7? Of course, I can tell him. Oh, um, would, would you tell Jim to bring the tickets for the hockey game tonight? Okay, no problem. And would you tell Anna that museum opens at 10 tomorrow morning? Yes, that would be a pleasure to tell you that. And also as the ones that we have been uh, sharing here in the class. And uh, could you, oh, please tell Jerry to meet us in front of the cafeteria at 12.15. Yes, it's not a problem that. So the, the goal is that we can transmit a message using the structures like, will you tell, uh, please tell my friend, um also would you would you tell tom to do something it's especially when we are transmitting a message and we use tell and in these structures so let's go with the next activity for this one I, I will share with you a link and you will try to complete the possible statements we have right now look at the chat because i'm sharing this one it says that you had to listen to the conversation and for example who is visiting jerry for the weekend you will listen carefully and you will try to answer. And also inside the conversation, you will see a word that says that she is wearing what? You have to listen carefully and write or select the choice for this part of the conversation. The next one is Coral is what? And uh, according to the three possible choices you have, you have to select the best one. Bob is wearing what? What is, what is wearing? And the last one, Jerry knows both because and you listen in this part. So I want you to do is to listen carefully and try to um, complete this part. The question is, um, do you see the, do you see the link in the chat? Yes, it's a yes. Okay, perfect. So let's go, um, let's go and let's try.
Roland was right. We're almost ready, students. Hello, almost ready, students. Ready. Thank you. I appreciate it. So, well, before that we just like socialize the answers we have here together, I just want to know if that was clear for you, this conversation. Could you understand the conversation pretty good or was it a little difficult because of the accent or because of the speed? Who was it? Was clear the conversation? Se entiende. I'm sorry. Se va leyendo también si uno quiere, pero se entiende pero, bastante eh, lo que dice. Thank you. Someone else to, uh, talk about it? For me it's un poco difficult, teacher, because they speak in a little quick. Okay. Someone else? I see some of you quiet today, like not talking. This is the opportunity for you guys to talk, to speak, to produce the language. So you open the microphone and talk. Remember that the goal is that we can also feel comfortable talking. At this level, it's like um, we are learning and also participating. But if you don't practice, if you don't speak, you don't produce the language. So you have to show that you are doing it. In this class, the pro is not a situation that you make mistakes because the goal is that you can communicate. You try because from mistakes, we can learn. So that's why in those spaces, you have the opportunity to talk, to speak. And also that is very helpful especially when you are learning the language, right? Um, eso es algo bien importante. Ustedes tienen que hablar. Um, eso es uno de los objetivos de este curso. Y yo se los digo por experiencia, cuando uno está estudiando inglés, eh, a veces no quiere participar porque a veces siente que se va a equivocar. Pero si no practicamos, ¿cómo vamos a saber si nos equivocamos? Es decir, la práctica es la que hace la diferencia, ¿sí? Es decir, si yo mientras más practico, aunque me equivoque, eso me va a generar a mí más confianza para hablar. Entonces, hay muchas personas que no les gusta hablar eh, porque sienten que se pueden equivocar o, o que le van a decir algo, pero por eso es una clase, porque la clase es para que usted hable, para que usted se desarrolle. Eh, this is one of the goals for this class, okay? That you can learn. And this is very significant. And also you can see like some people who travel to you asked, and they go there and they speak English. Uh, they, maybe they, they don't go to schools, but they listen people around and also they learn vocabulary, they learn expressions, and I can tell you that with property. Y de repente, bueno, conozco, tengo muchos testimonios de personas que se han ido, por ejemplo, a Estados Unidos y sin saber mucho del idioma y allá se han enfrentado como a, a las personas que lo hablan y todo. Y ellos sin tener una preparación académica, pues van agarrando palabritas, expresiones y se van adaptando al entorno inglés. Entonces, eh, el arma es la práctica. So, hablarlo, no importa si le entienden o no. And that happens because I know some friends, that they, they told me, they speak English now, but when they started, they went there, they didn't know how to communicate with people. But they tried to use some words to connect some ideas for Americans. At the end, they could do it. Entonces, eh, ellos me contaban de que ellos no hablaban inglés, pero por lo menos decían unas dos palabras. Y ya los, los, las personas más o menos conectaban qué querían decir y ya se comunicaban. Y así comenzaba la historia. So the way is that you had to practice, you had to speak, no matter if we made mistakes or not, because that's one of the ways that we can learn. And also because it's a process. So I know that you can do it, right? 
Okay, so help me to answer the equations here. The first one, who is visiting jury for the weekend? Her sister. Her sister. Okay, her sister, right? Because they say that they are they were like eating out and yes, eating uh in the house, right? So I I like you to meet my sister. So you that was the point about this. Okay, great. What about the second one? Uh, Carl is wearing what? What a is red sweater? Ah, a red sweater. Yes, yes, a red sweater, right? Yes. So because it, um, somebody was describing a uh, Carl, so that's why I mentioned that Carl is wearing, in that case, the red sweater. Okay, what about the next one? Carl is what? What is? Uh huh. Yes. Okay. So also something interesting about that is that in the conversation, they speak very, very natural. And I also like the accent because they speak like natural. Um, as you know, como ustedes saben, pues, eh, el inglés que se habla en, en todo Estados Unidos es totalmente diferente. Es decir, hay acentos, el acento es diferente, depende de la región en la que estén. Depende en el estado. Por ejemplo, hay unas zonas, por ejemplo, en Alabama, Nueva York, entonces cambia el acento un poquito. Igual, por ejemplo, la de Los Ángeles. And not just in the U.S., for example, in England, too. That happens, too. Usted va a Inglaterra. Y a pesar de, bueno, y a pesar de que es Inglaterra, pues, como el centro de, del, del idioma, pero dentro de Inglaterra también hay diferentes acentos. O sea, en, en, en británico, pero diferentes acentos. Entonces, es de adaptarse a los acentos. Ok, so we were saying that Carl is sociable. Sociable, that's the word. The question is, guys, are you sociable? Are you sociable? Yes, I consider. Nice, Dennis. You consider sociable. Great. Okay. A little bit. A, a little sociable. Oh, my God. A, a little bit. <laughs> okay. In your work, are you sociable in your work? In my work, in my work I'm very hungry. Angry? Really? Yes, yes. No, don't be angry. Oh I don't God. have a happy moment. I oh, don't have a happy moment in my work. You are stressed. You don't have happy yes. moments. Okay. I'm sorry for hearing that. Okay. Claudia, oh are God. you sociable? I, I, I sociable because the clients, there are a, a lot of the clients. Mm, okay. That makes sense to me. Yes. Obviously, that you have to be sociable because you treat with clients. Okay. That's yes. clear. You need to be sociable. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, Xiomara, are you sociable? And Claudia, are you sociable? Yes. Yes, okay. teacher, sociable. <laughs> yes. Okay, that's right. I have a sister. Her name her name is Delmi. And she is extremely sociable. She speaks to everybody. She speaks with a lot of people. I, I am sociable, but not 100%. But my sister, she is very, very social. She likes to talk, interact with people. She has a lot of friends. You know, she's like that. She's very special. Okay, the next one. Bob is wearing what? What is wearing? Okay. I'm sorry? A green tie. Oh, a green tie. Yeah, so this is this is a good color, especially very clear color. Okay, what about the last one? And what is the, the last one? What is the last one? Help me with that, please. She's talking carrot lesson from him. Mm hmm Okay, sounds interesting. So we could say that we, we could say that that she's taking karate, karate lessons. Okay, karate lessons. Well, this is a very interesting sport. I haven't practiced, but 
I think could be very interesting. Okay, look at this one. Uh, do you see the do you see the the article? No. Yes. Okay, let's read the article. You can see in the picture that there is a guy with the phone laughing. He's laughing, and some other people next to him on the table very angry because maybe the, the other person is making a lot of noise. So follow with me the reading. It says, what do you do in a situation like this? You're eating dinner with your friends at a nice restaurant. You're having a great time when a phone rings at a table next to you. A man takes out his phone and start talking loudly about problems he's having with his girlfriend. He talks for almost 10 minutes. This happens all the time, on buses, in restaurants, everywhere. Many people find cell phones use useful in their day-to-day -day lives. But we have all sat next to someone talking too loudly on a cell phone. You may want to tell the loud mouth to the end of to the end of the conversation, but let the management take care of noisy customers. You can only control your own behavior. Here are few roles. Look at the roles, which ones are mentioned in this one. Of means of, respect the rules of restaurants and other public places. If a sign says, turn off cell phones, don't use your phone. Next, keep private conversations private. Keep private conversations private. Speak softly and for a short time, try to move away from other people. This is very interesting. Yeah, so speak softly and for a short time, try to move. And that happens. Usted de repente sin querer está, y a la par hay otra persona que está hablando y, y, y usted se da cuenta de todo, pero, o sea, está, habla tan fuerte que usted no puede ignorar lo que está diciendo. No sé si ya le ha pasado eso. Yeah, right. Y hasta contándole ahí. Yeah, y hasta contándole la novela y usted, ya no le he visto. Some people say that. I mean, they're like talking about some private information. Their recommendation is to be, speak softly. Nobody can know about what you're saying. Okay, light off, phone off. Never take calls in a theater or at the movies. Esto me gustó. Eh, porque esto suele pasar, eh, eh, contestan cuando están en, una, en, en el cine, at a movies or um, in a theater, so people can listen because they are focused watching this, the performance. Pay attention, talking on a cell phone while driving is dangerous and watch where you are going. When you're walking down the street and talking on the phone, as more people use cell phones, things are only going to get worse. So, the next time you're getting ready to make a call, stop and consider the people around you. Wow, that's a, this is a very, very intriguing situation. Okay, um, do you have questions about this vocabulary, guys? Do you have questions about this vocabulary? Tell me, please, if you have questions, or is that clear? It's clear. It's clear? Yeah. Okay, what do you think about the points? I want you to speak today. What do you think, uh, do you agree or you don't agree about this information? Tell me, it's important or it's not important to have the conversations privately? Uh, for me, it's very important. And I agree about the. Okay. 
Okay, it's very important. Yes. Okay, who else? Yes. I agree, teacher, because in this situation, we need to a little, um, un poco de silence, silence. Silence and respect. And, and respect. And in my case, I don't, I don't like to hear other people speaking or peleando. Oh, yes. Fighting, discussing. Fighting, discussing because I, I have a, a, a pen ajena. <laughs> <laughs> you feel, yeah, embarrassed. Yeah, embarrassed. Yes. And I have listened, for example, a, a, a couple discussing about sentimental situations. Like they are going to break up and you are like, oh my God, I mean, this is a private conversation and they are speaking too loud. So it's complicated. Okay, someone else that would like to give your opinion about this cell phone etiquette? Do you agree? You don't agree? So what do you think? It's time to talk, tell me. Someone else? I agree with the rules. Mm -hmm. I agree. Uh, uh, I agree for turn off your cell phone and don't use your phone. Mm -hmm. For example, in a movie. Okay, yes, I, I totally agree with that. And, um, you know, it's it's very, very important. Uh, definitely, it's very important because you have to respect people's privacy. And this is something that we don't have, so we have to be very careful and also respect other people and people's opinions. I, I totally agree with that. Okay, that's fantastic. Well, before that we conclude, and we need to check the attendance list, and also, and I always encourage you to, you know, work a lot, practice actively, and the best way to learn English is to speak. Don't be afraid, practice actively, and be you. That's the way. I remember when I started English, I started time ago, I, I, I was a little embarrassed to speak in, in public or to speak English because I was worried to make a mistake. But don't worry because you are learning and that is the difference. And you can try watching television, practicing the pronunciation. We always do that. And at the end, you will be very successful with your learning process and you will say, wow, I'm very proud how much I have gotten in this, in this class or in this course. And then every day you will be learning new things, new vocabulary, new expressions. And that will be a very interesting and personal experience. So that is my personal recommendation to you guys. Don't stop, work so hard, be motivated. And I'm pretty sure that you will speak English in the best way. And you will be proud of yourself and you will see your improvement in the area because every day we learn something new, even though those who know English too. Entonces, Thank es you. importante, ¿verdad? Eso, el poder practicar. Bien, vamos a pasar a asistencia. Ada Agar Burgos. Present. Eh, Blanca Elena Melara. Present. Eh, Cristian Salatier Molina. Present. Eh, Claudia Lices Velázquez. Present, teacher. Thanks. David Roberto Aquino. Present, present. Thanks. Denis Francisco Alvarado. Present. Eh, Elena Gabriela Jovel. Elena, eh, Esmeralda Isabel Martínez. Present. Eh, Gisela Emperatriz Cañas. Present. Eh, Héctor Iván Pérez Martínez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Jocelyn Stephanie Mejía. 
Jocelyn. Eh, Kenia Vanessa Corbera. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Marco Antonio Quijano. Marco. María Elena Flores. María Elena Flores. Present teacher. Ok. Oscar Antonio Ramos. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Rebeca Janel Hernández. Present, present, present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Vanessa Gabriel Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Xiomara Elizabeth Hernández. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Jessica Esmeralda Martínez. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Jocelyn Elizabeth González. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Okay, students, we're about to finish. Don't forget that tomorrow is the last class, okay? So it's the last class for this course. So I hope to see you tomorrow in our last class. And also you will continue guys working with all some other contents and all information. And I hope it's going to be great. So please don't forget if somebody um, haven't worked in the exercises yet. Si alguien le hace falta, por ejemplo, algún ejercicio, por favor, termínelo. Ya que eh, recuerden de que eso también es parte de la beca y del trabajo que se está haciendo. Entonces, pues, eh, trate de completar los ejercicios ya para mañana, pues, quedar libres. Así que, thank you guys and have a beautiful night to all of you. Enjoy your night. See you tomorrow. 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 Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Excellent. Super. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a good time.